Oh, he's awake. Perfect. He hasn't gone to bed yet. Okay, old man, let's have a chat. I think about my life at night always. And someday, my life will. Broken someday, antiques will be. Our destiny it is. Destiny? Destiny. It was for Gold Raccoon to go missing. Never forget I will. March 15th last year. On a fine morning it happened. From the sky, a crane came and flew away with my gold raccoon. Already I've given up. I don't care. But a clue I have. Chew. I let you have it. Here. Receive crane feather. So, what do I do with this? You have a crane feather, yes. and I know where the golden raccoon is, so you need to leave. So we have to go get the, the golden, golden raccoon. raccoon, if I can find the door. By the way, hello everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Amount Play Sneak. Tulip. Yeah, let's not get in trouble. Uh, so we've been trying to do uh, Mr. Cheap Pot for a while now, and uh, have not had success, but that was the success we were looking for. Um, you basically have to... What time? I went in right go before... Left. Right before... Um, this way? Yeah. I went in right before like 8 p.m. For anyone who, who gets the game and is trying to do this, it took us a while to figure it out ourselves. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Bye, officer. Uh, I, I went in sometime between 7.30 and 8 p.m. He had just finished walking his dog. Go towards Leo. And uh, that's, how I, uh, that's how I managed to do that. Um, and then w when you do that... You are able to go in and have that conversation. He gives you the crane feather. Now Mao is guiding us towards what we're supposed to do next. So where are we going? Go see Leo. So we have to go see Leo. Yeah, show him the crane feather. I'm curious what he says. Okay. But don't we have to pay him in order to show him anything? Maybe. You got money. You've been kissing people. 200 Z per person. You want to take a bath? I mean, I don't, but yeah, sure. Thank you. So now show him the feather? Yes. Hey, have you seen this dun 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 crane feather? Yeah. Uh Um he doesn't react to it at all. Hit <laughs> no and try one more time. Maybe he just doesn't say anything. I mean you can't even really get near him. Yeah. Maybe so he doesn't say anything. I was just curious if he would, because you're gonna sneak into his house. Oh. You oh, can leave. That's why that I paid two hundred dollars. <laughs> It was your good. <laughs> it was your good. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. I'm glad money is no object for you. I was you. hoping he'd say something. All right. You remember where Turtle Boy was? Uh, around the back, yes. right? It's like up, up here and to Under the right. Under the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's where I'm going. Yep. Just walk in. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna get in trouble or anything. No. Okay. He's not in there. All right. Do you see those doors? Yeah. Go in front of them. There you go. Interact. And, oh. So you said go Again. in front of them. Again? Again. They're so, supposed to open. You just keep knocking? I thought so. Um, are you sure it's Can not you show the crane feather to the door? There we go! Okay, so you actually do have to knock like six times, but then they open. God, this is a weird game. So I'm going in. Wait, what the heck? It's a crane! Yeah, I'm, I'm gathering that. So, am I supposed to give the crane its feather back? Is that what I'm... Is that what I'm doing right now? <laughs> Show the crane its feather. Hi. Can you interact with him? Yeah. Okay, I'll just interact. There you Receive go. Gold Raccoon. So, what, the, the crane feather was just to guide me here? I guess so. How the balls would I have ever known? No idea. That is bizarre. Okay, and now I have this crane's feather. But I did the thing. Yeah. So now I just have to go give Mr. Cheapot his gold, gold raccoon. raccoon. He's gonna give you a kiss. But I assume I can do that at any point, right? Oh. Is he gonna be mad? Maybe. Should I say hello? What is he doing? Oh, it's late. He's going to bed. Hey, hey, where are you go? Okay, that was the most bizarre thing. Well, it's a good thing you weren't in there when he started it up. <laughs> yeah, but what? 
<laughs> what the heck? He just, like, caught- He started a fire and crawled inside. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Leo, how's it going? Have you seen this crane feather? Excuse me, Oh, Chew. watch out. He's gonna hurt you. He's angry. No, I'm- I walk by. I walk by. We're good. Okay. Keep Didn't, going. I thought I kissed that guy already. No, that was someone else. That's a different guy. Oh, there's so many people. All right, so, um, now I have to go see Mr. Cheatpot. Yes. Um, do I... Can I do that at any time? I am not sure. You may have to sneak in again. And and talk to him late at night? Yeah. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, we're good. I'm getting out of here. He will shoot you. Yeah, I... You've told me that. Um, well, I'm pretty sure that it's too late to get into Cheap Pot's house now, right? Maybe. I would see. Because, uh, I think in the past episode or two, we've we've actually tried to get into his house. And it's already almost... It's 1.30. And he, well, he, well, he falls asleep. Sneak, sneak, dog. I know, I know. I see the dog. What up, dog? We good, dog? We good? I'm gonna get into your master's house. And he's probably not gonna do anything. Because I have a feeling he's asleep. He falls asleep at some point. He's awake. When he goes in at, yeah. you know, 7.30 or 8. Yeah, he's, he's asleep. asleep. Yeah, he's sleeping. And I'm assuming that trying to show him the, uh, the gold raccoon now is useless. Yeah. yeah he's, uh, he's You'll asleep. You'll have to try again in the morning. But you All should right. go spend time by sleeping. Okay. Boom. Morning time. Alright, so we took a rest, and now we can go to Mr. Cheap Pot. Be like, yo, bro, I think that this may have some sentimental value to you. Boom! What? That golden luster, my gold raccoon! Found it, you have too! You could do it, I knew! Thank you, thank you! I'd like to express my gratitude to you with my kiss! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Cheap Pot. Oh, yeah. Do 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Literally my favorite kiss so far. <laughs> also, I, I really love the voice that I've given him. It has evolved over over time. Alright, and back to what I was doing. Okay, so there is one more kiss that we've been trying to get, and it's the last kiss in this area. Yes. Uh, and it is waiting in the hospital until late and giving it a shot. Now, I am playing today. Mal and I have both given given this a shot. It's not open yet. Oh, wait. Oh, hi, bro. Did you just wake up? Can He's I... had a long night being crazy. Oh, yeah, he, he goes nuts at night. Uh... You should be able to go in now. That was odd. No, I can't. He just comes out That brief. is weird. I wonder if he says anything during that. I should have spoke to him. Ah, well, in a moment, we'll cut to us waiting at night and uh, hopefully get the last guy in this area. All right, buddy. I couldn't get you last time because I, I didn't realize that it took so long to stand up from this position. But this time I'm going to be ready because I'm not going to sit down. And I'm... Go get him, go get him, go get him. Oh. Do I have to sneak towards him? Maybe. You're supposed to sneak when things are angry. Yeah, but not when they're... Not when they're happy. Yeah. Get him, get him! Oh, yes. I got him! <laughs> oh. Oh, we locked lips, my BDSM friend. Seriously, what is what is going on there? I'm not sure. Uh... Questionable. Anyway! We did it, folks. Finally. We finally did it. We finally got him and Mr. Cheapot. He was just hard. Mr. Cheapot was hard to understand because we couldn't figure out when the stupid shop was, um... The shop was closed. Yeah, but he, but and this game does not have a lot of help online. Unfortunately. 200Z. Yeah, if there's a if there's a part that Mal doesn't quite remember and she, she goes to look it up online, uh, it can be problematic because they, there's not... Uh, a ton of guides for such a thing. All right, so Mal, uh, we've kissed everyone in this area, correct? Yes. The next thing you need to do is travel to a new place, and you need to get a train ticket in the morning. Okay, so for now, bedtime. Yes. Oh my god, our dad's gonna be so happy, because we kissed two people! I don't remember how long until we level up, but that's gotta be, uh, that's gotta be coming up soon, too. Are you going to bed? You know it, Dad! Good night, Chu. Good night, Pops! There's actually a couple things you can do in the house, too. Really? Do you see under the TV? That's a photo album, and you can look at all the people you've kissed. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. And later, you can set the alarm and sleep till the alarm goes off. 
Whoa, so you can you can go to any point in time that you want to. Yes, but you have to kiss a certain person first. Okay. Chuck, Mr. Cheap Pot, did he? Oh, lover's tree, lover's tree. My son has successfully kissed for the first time. Oh, why does he keep saying that? <laughs> that means Chew has kissed 17 times in his whole life. He could do better. Keep trying and become a man with a strong heart. The next goal is four kisses. So we need four more. Lover's tree, thank you. I see all right, okay. <laughs> Good night, you. And we're fully restored. We're level, we're currently level six. Handsome boy. Yes. We're no longer poor. Oh, we actually, we're still poor, but we're <laughs> handsome and poor. That's got to mean something. Yeah, that alarm clock thing will be really helpful. So we're gonna get up, make our very odd noise, put our crap away, and. Uh, so you go said buy we, a train ticket. We go. To, we have to buy a train ticket because we have to go to the new part of town. Yes. Which we unlocked by getting rid of the rock. Mm-hmm. Cool. So let me go ahead and save the game in the toilet here. Now, before you actually get on the train, there's a few things you could do. Okay. You could buy comics from the comic shop to fast forward time. If you read them and sit on a bench, um, they will fast forward time for you because you'll be busy reading them. Okay, so um, is that- You could also buy some food. Keep going. Towards the train station. You could also buy some food and um, use it to heal yourself if you need to. That woman sucked me in. Yeah, she did. I was trying to get away, but she has her own gravity and it sucked me in. It's, it's because her head is the size of Chew. <laughs> did you want to buy some food? Uh, only... I'm, I'm, I'm doing this by your... Suggestion. You are you are I would the buy expert here. a few here. things just in case of an emergency, so we don't get killed when we haven't saved. All right, and where's so this? go up by the policeman. You need to go to Miss Plum. Yeah, she was the person that was standing out by the telephone booth the other yes, day. Yes, that's her shop right there. Is this door? No, it's the there, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's. Is it open? No, <laughs> she probably opens at ten. Ah, uh, woman. Why is this bench in the way? I don't know. That's not the actual door. The door is there. So this is the door. Yeah, you went in here before. Yeah, I have. And maybe she opens later. Oh, <laughs> right, right at 10.05. Okay, 10.05. I'm in. <laughs> Knock first time. Knock coming in. Knock second time. There we go. All right. Okay, that was horrifying. She sleeps buried under her merchandise. Seems seems like an odd choice. <laughs> All right. Um, the cookie recovers eight hearts. The chocolate is 16 hearts. The mochi is 32. Okay, so basically multiply it times 10, and the that's how much it costs. The popsicle is 20, and the gum is 60 hearts. Oh, okay. So the gum is the only, only good deal. Yes, but it's a lot of money, and you need some, actually, in this next area. Yeah, also, when are we ever going to need to recover that many hearts? I know. Not anytime soon. So what would you recommend buying? How many? Um, the heart maybe, chocolate? Yeah, the heart chocolate, because it's 16. Maybe get one more. So just have two of those? Yeah. Well, it's, at least it's easy to know what they restore. Mm -hmm. It also means that none of these are technically a better deal than other, except for the micro gum. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where's there the you door? go. You have to wait for your question mark. I know. Chew has a really hard time finding the door. It's a shame. All right. All right. So, you remember where the train station is? Yes. Okay. It's where we were first spoken to. Yes. By Mr. Suzuki, the very creepy Mr. Saturn ripoff <laughs> who wanted to make love to us in on, in the sewer. I mean, I'm not wrong. None of that Do is wrong. Do you hear wrong. the train? I'm not making any of that up. In the so. door. In the door. In the door. There right. you go. Sorry, once again, doors. Choose biggest biggest enemy, doors. Go talk to Mr. Train Ticket. Oh, dear God in His heaven. His face spins around. Of course it does. It's like those things <laughs> hey, where that you to? spin them and the faces look like a different emotion whether they're up or down. He's one of them. And based on where he is in the city, he'll either look happy or angry based on like where he is and what his job is. Because he oh. also sells the comics. Great. Where to? You're going to Worldly Desire Temple, which is that first one. So you can also go to the other place. That's Scarecrow Field. We don't need to go there anytime soon. We're going to Worldly Design no, Temple. That's Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Hey, hey thanks. You can say goodbye. Goodbye. And then go up those stairs. 
and go s talk to him. Is that a cigarette? Yes. A train to Scarecrow Field leaves at 11.30. Show me your ticket if you want to get on. You're not going to Scarecrow Field. So you need to wait. Oh my god. When's the when's the train go? <laughs> the okay. train will show up shortly. It's not like one a day. It's a couple you, a day. Okay, no, you have to say, can you just die? <laughs> you just walk into the train. So I just have to wait here. Correct. And you said there's how many a day? There's a couple. There's like three or four or five. Will I still hear it if I sit or no? Yeah, you can hear it. But, but you could just, just sit wait. on the ground. I mean, why okay. sit on something? Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Okay. And we wait. Okay, so the train is back. Uh, where's our friend? Hello. A train to Worldly Desire Temple leaves at 1.30. Show me your ticket if you want to get on. Uh, I do want to get on, actually. And my ticket is right here. Okay, checked. All right, get on and wait in the train. <laughs> We're leaving for Worldly Desire Temple. He just rings the bell on his head. Yes, I saw Rang. that. Honestly, I don't know if a, if a young child would find this game amusing or absolutely nightmare fuel, like <laughs> horror inducing. I, it's, it's kind of hard to decide because everything is a mixture of comedy and horror, at least in my mind. So we're here at the Worldly Desire Temple. You are. God. All right. You can go down those stairs. Oh, here's the thing. Yep. Oh, that's convenient. So your last train is at 22.30. Funny Bone City? Yeah, that's a later spot. Okay. There's a kazoo in the music yeah, right now. Do you see the little door behind you? Like, back up the trail? Or you can have a cutscene. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't do that. That just happened. Okay. Uh, I've got my severance pay, but... I don't know what a happy retirement is. I have no idea. Maybe I can ask Monk at the temple. Monk. See, there is an overarching story to all of this. Yes. Um, I mean, you want to kiss this girl, but there's a story going on too. Yamada! Don't so. Everything is alive. Yamada! Yamada! Where are you going? You think we don't know? Yamada? You received severance pay. Why do you get special treatment? We didn't get anything when we retired. That's right. You don't know what it was like. Yamada, I remember you borrowed 50,000 Z from me last year. 20,000 Z from me! Or is that 200? Yeah, 20,000. <laughs> you owe me 10,000 Z. These are other teachers. Why are the teachers all random objects? Huh? What is that? That's Mr. Suzuki's love letter set. A very valuable treasure. In exchange for the money you owe us, there's nothing we can take but this. It's a tough world. Only the strong survive. You can't be weak and live in this world. I'll take the love ink. I'll take the love fountain pen. I'll take the love paper. So that just happened. That happened. Oh, uh, you thieves, wait. A series of inanimate objects with faces just fought over another <sighs> creature's uh, love letter writing set, I guess. <laughs> I don't even, I, I'm having trouble coming to like, even like s saying what's happening. Cause even yeah. I have, a, like I have no idea. Mr. Inoue, Miss Iwata, Mr. Saito. Or Saito? <laughs> we used to be good colleagues. It's terrible. All grown-ups are money grubbers. Huh? I took the love letter set from Mr. Suzuki. I'm one of them. 
Uh, I hate myself. I hate my life. I want to be happy. But what really makes me happy? What? Okay, cross the bridge. So Queen that, tracks. that was terri cross, cross terribly it. confusing, and I'm not sure what to. Oh, okay. Yeah, the train has to go. Oh, it was waiting on me. <laughs> you can um go to like up. That's a very up, up the path. That's a very polite train, by I the know. way. Um, I'm actually going to stop you there, Mal. Okay. That is going to be it for today. Uh, but now we are into a new area with extremely loud insects. Cicadas. Those are some crazy cicadas. Dear Lord. But that kazoo is nice. We'll see you guys next time for more Stephen and Mal play Chulip. Oh, God. <laughs> I shall take four hearts. Four's not bad. I'm okay. And then he appears right where he was. No! <laughs> I shall take eight hearts. Oh, God. Oh, I love I'm gonna it. I'm going to run around. Let's go back the other way. Run, Shoe. Oh, God, I'm stuck. No. I shall take 12 hearts. And I think that this I is, the, I this is when you eat chocolate.